this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. In this week's micro lesson, you're going to learn a rhythm in drop D tuning. Now, this is something that's pretty easy to play and something that you can use in your own playing, whether you're improvising or writing your own music. This will give you some ideas for some interesting things you can do with rhythm. I'll show you how to play everything in this video, but if you need to download the tablature, which includes the strum patterns, you can get that by going to ActiveMelody.com slash micro and doing a search for ML035. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into drop D tuning. And to do that, all you do is you play your open D string, you play your 6th string, and you drop it down to match those two. And that's pretty easy. You can do it very quickly. You can do it by ear. Now, if you can't do that by ear, you can use a, a tuner for that. But most of you should be able to do that. So once we're in drop tuning, drop D tuning, I should say, uh, the next thing we're going to play is this little intro that goes right into the song. Now you count in that intro, on, it comes in on the one. So if you're counting it, you'd say one, two, three, four, one. Now notice the right hand, these are all down strokes. And to play this, it's very easy because it's the same thing on strings four, five, and six. So we're going to start on string four. We're going to play fret three, two, and then open. So three, two, open. On the fourth string, we're going to do that same thing on the fifth string, three, two, open. And then on the sixth string, three, two, open. Now the only other thing that I'm doing uh, in addition to that is when I'm playing each of these strings, I'm actually playing two strings. So I'm playing strings uh, four, and then I'm bumping the third string, which is the G string. So you have that drone string playing along with it. So it sounds like this. And then we do that over the fifth and fourth, and the sixth and fifth. So all together then, get this real fat sound when you do that. Now once I play that open sixth string, which is the D note, then I come up here and play a D chord. Now I'm not actually making the full chord, so I leave my middle finger out. So I just have these two fingers down. And the reason that I leave the, uh, the, the one string out of it is I'm leaving the third interval out of the chord. That way it doesn't define the chord as being major or minor. It gives it more of a, a dark, kind of a spooky sound when you do that. Um, so, here's the. let's go over the strum pattern with the right hand. I'm going to call that out first, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with the left hand. So here's what the right hand is doing. This is the strum pattern. You, you play down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Let me do that again. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Now the right hand stays in motion the whole time. I'm just calling out where I'm coming in and out of it. But I, you always keep the right hand in motion when you're strumming. So that's what the strum pattern's doing with the right hand. Now the left hand looks like this. Right here, okay, first of all, I'm keeping the D chord shape down. I've got my ring finger down on the third fret, second string, uh, and then I've got my index finger down on the second fret, third string. And when I'm playing the chord, I'm playing strings five, four, three, and two. Those are the, that's what I'm trying to target there. So it's down, 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 up, down. Now notice there, my middle finger goes down on the third fret, second string. These other two fingers stay down the whole time. Down, up. So you have down, 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 up, down, up. And then you have up, down, up, and then you have two chords there. That first chord is a C chord, or part of a C chord, and what I'm doing, I keep my ring finger down the whole time on the 3rd fret 2nd string. My middle finger goes down on the 3rd fret 5th string, and I play strings 5, 4, 3, and 2. And then I put my, uh, then I take that finger off and play the next chord, which is a G chord. So that now my index finger goes down on the 2nd fret 5th string. Now, if some of you are going, hey, that's not a G chord. Well, it's just like the middle part of a G chord. You're getting of the G chord that you know how to play like this. You're just playing these two. You're fretting those two notes out of it. But again, you're playing strings five, four, three, and two. So together it goes. Notice that ring finger stays down for both of them. And then we're right back to the D. So I went through this four times. And the last time, I went right back to 
did that intro just to kind of reset it. I just kind of threw it right in there. And that's really that D rhythm. So play around with that, see what you can do in drop D tuning.